All right, so uh, Ivy League kids flashcards business uh, built on uh, Squarespace. So here's some uh, initial thoughts. So first of all, uh, just like a little bit of a pet peeve, uh, this uh, headline is hard to read against the background with text. So it's text over text and um, it's going to be difficult to read. And also it's not very direct response benefit oriented, like cultural literacy flashcards to inspire a lifetime of learning doesn't immediately tell me what's in it for me as a consumer. And again, it depends who this is intended for. I mean, typically, if people are already um, familiar with what flashcards are for kids and they're looking for them, you don't have to do as much explaining as to someone who has never used them, for instance, and doesn't really know what they do, right? You know, I, I got three kids, but um, I don't think I've ever used flashcards personally in my family. But anyway, so just some tactical stuff. But overall, um, I think like it is a very basic website and it doesn't go a lot into why someone should buy this and then why someone should buy it from you and not buy it from, let's say, Melissa and Doug or um, Think Tank, Scholar or any of your competitors. Now, it could be that um, your, yours is a superior product and I have to explain how it is better uh, or your price could be better because you know i'm noticing you got like 48 cards for 25 bucks whereas they got like seven for 15 bucks so you know you could uh, be the more economical version or something um, about our decks like this is where it probably um, would benefit from explaining more in simple terms real quick like what's it all about um, reviews i mean you got a ton of reviews on amazon um would find a way to basically showcase them all. Um, and then uh, your story, like you gotta kind of have it hidden away here. Um, it's very short. If anything, if you're trying to compete with the big guys like Melissa and Doug and whatnot, put it, you know, front and center, like veteran owned, put your faces out there, your family, like basically show them your real company, real local company uh, that people can know, like, and trust and basically uh you know buy it from you because they feel that connection as opposed to like okay and you're now a big faceless corporation like mattel or something um so again you probably are constrained with um square functionality but yeah it's like a super basic site and you know very short description there's no reviews in the product page uh, typically we'd like to s include images of your products being used by real customers so you know basically go to your uh, um, your amazon listing and you can find you know, more reviews from folks with actual you know maybe pictures of their kids if they agree to it um video is is big nowadays to explaining uh, what it is plus you can use it in, in advertisements if you intend to run ads uh, now uh on the subject of ads so if, if you know someone's looking for your brand, they can find you organically, but if someone's looking for kids slash cars, like you could be here in the Google shopping ads, you have a search ads here, trying to compete with the others. But another thing you could do is go and look at the reviews for the you know biggest competitors and see like what are the top five star and top one star reviews are and kind of see what people like and don't like and use that in your marketing and to explain how your product is better than uh, these competitive products like see what people pay attention to what matters to them and then base your messaging uh, on that to explain how your product is different how it is superior why they should buy it and why they should buy it from you so um yeah that's kind of um, in general what i would do is get get the messaging down first uh, come up with some sort of offers and bundles i mean it seems like it's a pretty good offer already with 25 bucks for 48 um versus you know 15 for 10 bucks but um or you know it's kind of similar in case you can bundle more um of them together so that they spend more than just 24.99 at once so maybe like you buy two collections save five bucks or get free shipping or something that can help you afford it more um, on ad spend later because ads are not that cheap and so the more your customers can spend with you in one transaction the better so you know hope this helps